Um, what is your name and what team do you play for? My name is Destiny De La Rosa and I play for the College of New Jersey. Awesome. So Destiny, can you tell us a little bit about this tournament right here and you know, who it's in memorial of? Well, this tournament is in memorial of my mom. She died last month. So we're here at TCNJ, it's the College of New Jersey. This tournament here is women only. These girls out here that are playing today and the middle of New Jersey, this is everything to them. Now here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about togetherness, togetherness because rugby brings people together. We were supposed to walk out in this world together. And it's a blessing to be able to see rugby really restore people's lives together. Now rugby in general brings people together and it restores relationship and it really creates strong, strong relationships. But when it comes to the sevens field, you are playing on the same size pitch as you would a 15s. And yet you have so much more ground to cover. So therefore when you have so much more ground to cover, but less people on your team, you have to trust the person next to you even more than you would have to in maybe a traditional game of rugby 15s. And that understanding of having to trust people, trust your teammates closer and closer and closer to win a match, brings people together. Now, coming out to this tournament, um, yes, it's TCNJ Rugby Tournament, but it's also a memorial tournament for a woman named Alma. There was a rugby player that lost her mother uh, about a month ago or so, from what, I've, from what I hear. And this tournament has been set to be in memory of her. And that is just a beautiful aspect of rugby because I really want to hear about how these rugby players have came together and supported this girl that has went through such a tragic loss. Um, I don't wish this upon anyone, but this life is hard to go out through sometimes. It's hard, especially if you don't have relationship with anyone and you're trying to do things on your own because it's never gonna work if you're just trying to do everything on your own. But when you have people around you, good people around you, people that care about you and people that are going through the life struggles and life challenges and life blessings together, it makes things a lot easier to do. So we're gonna walk around today at the the College of New Jersey, and we're going to check out this rugby togetherness today. I have with us Maria from TCNJ. Lions? Yeah, Lions. All That's right. us. We're also using this tournament today, our team personally, because um, one of our teammates recently lost her mom. Uh, so we're using this as a little bit of a fundraiser. Uh, we have a tent going on back there. We have some t-shirts. Um, I'm not wearing it right now, but we're selling t-shirts. We have some raffles going on. Um, just trying to raise some funds to help her family out with all the expenses. So, I, I mean, you just mentioned that the tragic loss that one of your players had. Has that brought you guys, I mean, rugby in general just brings people together, but has that brought you guys closer in, in such a way or? Yeah, we've all um, we've all really come together recently these past couple weeks um, since Destiny had her loss. Uh, we've all been there for her, and just in like preparing the tournament itself and getting anything done, you really you never really realize how many little things go into doing something so big. Um, and so everybody's 
come together really nicely to make sure that it's all flowing as smoothly as it is, um, especially with like the fundraising aspect of it. Everybody's done a really good job at being there and doing their part and supporting. And so it's definitely brought us together. So if that didn't just hit home, I don't know what can. Like, we walked into this event just really with the word togetherness on our mind. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hi! <laughs> You're such good teammates. <laughs> Alright, ready? Three, two, I don't what? know this. Because we are sisters. sisters! We stand together! <laughs> we make it down the jungle and no, we don't look the same. Our spots are different. <laughs> different colors. Right to your girls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry, right. so one 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 girl that maybe if you're all transparent enough about it where maybe you didn't have like a great group of friends or you're around the wrong crowd and like you got involved in rugby. And, like, Everybody makes you wear really <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I transferred here and I didn't know anybody and then I joined rugby and I was still going to transfer but because of rugby I stayed at Scranton and now I like it. Uh, well I'm Fran Musso and I'm the president of Rowan Rowan. <laughs> and I'm Jamie Chica and I'm the vice president. So I, I joined rugby just to have something to do during college and it turned out to be such a family experience and I really grown closer to all the girls and it just taught me a lot of leadership and working together and like confidence. I joined rugby because I have always played a competitive sport and I had given it up and I got harassed into playing and then it ended up being the best decision of my life because um, it seems my family. Uh, you know my mom got sick and they all stepped up and they were there for me and I'm just forever grateful for them. My teammates? <laughs> um, <laughs> They encourage me, they they definitely lift each other up, they lift me up, they make me feel like I can do anything. Rugby is definitely an empowering sport, so when you step out on the field and you have all these people encouraging you to go out there and do things that you never thought you could do, you feel empowered, like you could do anything. Um, they have been so supportive, like every day someone's just texting me saying, oh my gosh, like have you done the homework yet? <laughs> Like that, like the constant support, like everyone's always helping each other out. Um, you get to see them on campus and you get to like hug them and people think you're so cool. Like I think I'm cool when I get to hug my teammates on campus. And then like talking about my teammates, like actually my sophomore year at St. Joe's, like I considered transferring because like um, a lot of my friend groups had kind of like, you know, I kicked me out for lack of better words, but I always had my rugby team um, and that was like the main support that I had um, in college and I mean they've just reinstilled like my confidence in myself, confidence in the sport, love of the sport, um, and even the love of my school and everything like that. So they helped me stick through a lot of things, whether it's like mental exhaustion, physical exhaustion or whatever. Um, yeah, they're basically they're basically like my other family. <laughs>
So Jesse, can you tell us a little bit about this tournament right here and you know, who it's in memorial of? Well, this tournament is in memorial of my mom. She died last month and it's been a rough time. And my team actually did, they created a whole group me and didn't even put me in it and created this whole thing for me and came to my job and told me that this was happening and they did a poster and it was like all a surprise to me. I didn't, I didn't even know anything. Wow. So it sounds like you have a pretty good group of girls behind you. Yeah, they're like amazing. I wouldn't have been, they came to my mom's funeral. I wouldn't have been able to function as much without them. Gotcha. So do you, do you mind sharing with us kind of what happened, uh, you know, a month, or, a month or so ago? Oh, uh, my mom, she just, she had a blame, a brain bleed and they caught it too late and she just didn't make it out of surgery so that was happened about a month ago now and it's been rough I've been trying to balance school and my family and everything but the rugby team has been there for me and have put this together and it's just been phenomenal Awesome. So, you know, what what happens going forward with, with rugby with you? Are, you? are you still sticking with the team and, and continuing to play as long as possible? or what's the um, next Right now, I'm currently getting my master's in counseling. I'm going to be a school counselor, hopefully in an urban school district. And after I get my footing in there, I either hope to coach rugby or play myself if I'm able to. But it all depends. But rugby's been such a big part of my life. I started playing in high school. So I've been playing for like eight years now. So it's always been there. And I feel like it's always going to be there no matter what. Awesome. Now, I mean, we, we all go through like real life situations. And most of the conversations that I guess we have with each other, they're, they're, sometimes we laugh, sometimes we joke, sometimes we're sarcastic. but. There's things in life where, like, we need someone to talk to that's about something real. Like, something real just happened. Have, have you been able to do that with the rugby girls that you're around? Yeah, I feel like the rugby girls has been, like, my support system. I also have the Educational Opportunity Fund on campus that has been my rock through all of this. And I have my little sister who's been there for me. So, you know, I have different support systems to really get me through this difficult time that I'm going through right now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, Destiny. We're going to be praying for you, and, and I hope that everything goes well, and um, you know you guys are able to um, you know, heal, heal the best that you can through this. Yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome. One thing about our team is we never give up. We always fight till the last minute. Push to the end. Yes.